Hey guys, it's Tara. So, um, yeah, still look a mess. Nothing new there. Not shocking. Um, so, I'm having trouble. Of course I am. I knew I would. I've come to the decision it's it's just too easy to um to just be able to grab my medicine and take it. It's um I didn't really want somebody to take it and hold it because that inflicts massive panic. Um but not having someone take it and hold it and me actually really have to ask for it if I need it. It's just going to have to be the only way because leaving it sitting on the counter for it to be up to my discretion when to take it just, that ain't going to work. It just, it's just not. I don't, I don't have the willpower. I don't have the... I have motivation, but when you're standing there looking at it, it, it goes out the window. It does. It, 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 mm, this little pill is so powerful. Um, so, yeah, when you're standing there, when you're used to taking it, and you get up, and you walk in the kitchen to do your morning routine, and it's just sitting there waiting on you to grab it, it's just too easy to do it. It's too easy to fall into it. It's too easy to make the easy choice. I, that's the easy way out. I'm taking the easy way out. I'm just going to grab it and take it and procrastinate until tomorrow. Well, guess what? Tomorrow goes the same way. And the day after that goes the same way. So I have to find a new way. Um, I've asked my grandmother to hold my Suboxone after today. I took it today. I actually took a full dose today. <clears throat> I actually took a two milligram, a whole pill today. Um, because there's a few things that I need to knock out and get done before I'll feel comfortable surrendering that. Um, you know, my grandmother's asked me to vacuum the floor for weeks. I haven't done it because I'm a depressed, stressed mess um, <clears throat> with no motivation at all. So, I need to vacuum. I need to finish picking up the cans that we recycle. Um, our garage was full. We recycle. Um, all three of us in this household drink the shit out of pop. So, we always recycle our cans. Our garage was literally, literally stacked full. Uh, me and my grandmother took off three different trips because the car was full. We took off three different trips um, to, of cans to the recycling place, and we couldn't um, get the last batch in and there before they closed for the day. So we still probably have, I don't know, I'd say we probably have two more loads. Maybe just one, but some of the cans have been sitting in bags out there for a while. So, of course, the bags are old, so as soon as you pick them up, they rip. So, there is, I ripped a whole bag open the other day. So, there is cans everywhere strung out in the garage. So, I need to go out, I need to pick all those up, um, rebag them, and, um, try to get that to the recycling center, get, my grandma really wants the garage cleaned out a little, um, cause it just looks crazy right now, cause there's cans everywhere, <laughs> um, yeah, so I just, there's a few things around the house I need to do that I've been putting off, because I'm just, you know, just when you get overwhelmed, because so much stuff is happening, or, you know, I have anxiety, I don't do good with change, so much is changing, that you just get so overwhelmed that you can't do any of it. It's it's not. I don't know why I'm emotional. I don't know. Um, I don't know why that ha like. It's like really like. Okay, you need to vacuum. Big damn deal. But it's just. 
there's just so much going on, like, that it's just hard to, to focus, to get the focus, to just vacuum the floor. Like, I know that sounds like such a small, simple task, and it is. It 100% is. It's just, um, I feel like there's so much pressure on me. I need a job. My unemployment is still not kicked in. My mom's unemployment has yet to kick in. So, we have zero income other than my grandmother. Like, it's just a lot. A lot. But, yeah, anyways, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've got some stuff to do, hopefully gonna get a trim on my hair, I think I have decided to, um, to kinda do, um, <clears throat> like, take clippers up the back and the sides and leave the top long and wear it, like, down in the front, um, I've just got it parted cause, well, it's dirty and who cares, um, uh, yeah, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have, like, not, not, like, shaved, shaved, no, 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 man, no, man, like, clippers on, like, a three, like, not, not down to my head, shaved, no, we're not, <laughs> no, 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 um, you know, just a really cute little short pixie with the front, and I like the bangs, um, I did leave the bangs to where I can wear them down or swoop them, so I've got options. Um, that's the one thing with short hair is the options. Like, I love my hair short. I have no qualms with my hair being short. Other than it's so easy to get bored with it. It's, it's just, it's easy to get bored. But, I mean, growing it out is like... Would I love to have long hair again one more time in my life? Yes. Am I willing to grow it? I don't know about all that. Bitch may need a wig. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I would like to have long hair again eventually. But I don't think I'd keep it. it it's just so heavy and hot and thick and... Y'all don't even know. Okay, I've got, I've got some hair. I know it doesn't look like I've got hair, but I've got hair. Okay, people. I mean, I was having five migraine days out of seven when my hair was long. And it didn't matter if I left it down, if I pulled it on top of my head. It didn't matter. It was so heavy. And I know that sounds silly for those of you who don't really have thick hair. Um... But Jesus, it gets heavy, guys. It gets heavy. That's why when every girl in the world gets their hair cut, they're like, oh, I feel 10,000 pounds lighter. Hair's heavy. And I've got a lot of it. Um, every hairdresser I've ever been to, um, with my hair short, they'll go in to start cutting, and they're like, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Like, Looking at you, you would never know you had that much hair still on the top of your head. Girl, I know. <laughs> I know. I get a trim, like, every two weeks. I get it thinned out, like, every two weeks. Like, one hairdresser actually told me that my hair was actually thin. I just had a lot of it. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I thought if you had a lot of hair, that meant you had thick hair. Like, I've always considered myself to have thick hair. But I've had one hairdresser tell me, and I trust her. I've had one hairdresser tell me, I actually have thin hair. I just have a lot of hair. So I don't really know what that means. Because I've always equated, you know, thin hair with that, like, kind of loose, stringy. And it's just not thick. It's not thick. I don't know. I've always classified myself as long or, well, not long, but really thick hair. Stick straight. 
stick straight. That was another reason I hated it long. I didn't hate it long, but I say options are small with short hair, but actually, other than, you know, up or down, um, my hair long didn't really do much either, uh, because it's so straight. And it's so heavy when it's long that even if I try to curl it, like y'all listen, I hate styling product in my hair. I'm, I'm kind of the same with my hair as I am with makeup. Less is more. I don't like, you know, I don't like that big cakey makeup. I don't like, you know, layers of makeup. Same with hair. I don't like that, that tight, scrunchy feeling in my hair. I don't like a shit ton of hairspray in my hair. Um, even short, I don't use that much putty or wax, you know, everybody's like, oh, you could really get it styled the way you want it if you just use a little more product. I don't really like that. I don't like the feeling, and, well, let's just face it for a minute. I'm lazy, and I don't want to have to wash it every single day. So, the more product I put in it when I wash it, the more it's going to look bad the next day and the sooner I'm going to have to wash it. And just a, just a heads up before anybody out there is like, oh, you're gross. No. You're really not supposed to wash your hair every day. It's really bad for it. It strips all the natural oils out. So, do I let it go too long sometimes because of my mental state? Yes. But I'm not, like, I'm not just gross. I don't never wash my hair. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, twice a week. Twice a week is about as much as I'll wash my hair. Now, we're not talking about showers and baths. You know, just hair. We're just talking about hair here. But, I don't know how that segued into hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I said I needed a haircut today. So, there's a, there's a list of things that I need to do today. Um that I need to get done before I start to possibly feel bad. So, I'm going to try to get through that list as best I can with um where I am here. <laughs> I'm going to try. I'm going to give it my I'm going to give it my best because I need to get it done while I'm feeling okay and before the chaos begins. And it may not even turn into chaos. That's what kills me so much here, people. I may be fine. I could literally, I could, today could be my last dose ever. And I may be popping on here four days from now. Totally fine. Totally fine. It's just the unknown. I don't know. If I'm going to be fine. Or if I'm going to be horrifically uncomfortable. I don't know. How many days. It'll take. Before I'll either feel. Uncomfortable. Or know that I'm good. And past it. I don't know. Anything. I don't know anything. That's where it gets scary. Like that. that that's really. That's really it. That's really it. it. It's just, it's the unknown. I hate change. I hate not knowing um, how something's going to pan out or... I just, I don't like not knowing. I like, I like having the security of it to know that I'm going to feel okay every day. Not huh? at all. Just, I'm going to feel... Like a, a regular human should on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, and the, that's where the tricky part comes in is I could, I, I really could because I've come down so low, I've come down so low and I've come down really slow so that my body really can adjust to this medicine leaving and I could be fine. I in a week from now, I I might be looking back at this going, oh my God, I was so panicked for nothing. 
And holy shit, do I hope that's the outcome. Well, fingers crossed on that one. I hope, I hope that's really the way it goes. I hope that I have come down correctly and taken my time and made this the easiest on me it can be. That, that's, that was the goal in starting Suboxone. That is still the goal ending Suboxone. It's just the question mark of, is that the way it's going to go? Or is it going to go the way I'm afraid it's going to go, which is, I'm going to be so sick and it's going to be miserable and I'm not going to be able to do it and I'm just going to be on Suboxone the rest of my life. Like, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. But that's my fear. That's where it is. That's what, I mean, hopefully in a week I'll come back on here and be like, y'all, I was so wrong. That was so much easier than I thought. I was so crazy for panicking that much. And I, and I breezed through it. That would be everything and a bag of chips. Okay, like... That would just be, sorry, my animals, y'all know I own a zoo. Uh, that would just be, like, everything. But I don't know. I don't know that it's going to go that way. I don't know it's going to go bad either. It's, it's the unknown. It's the unknown. So, yeah. The um, I'll try to hop on and keep you updated. Um, I was thinking though, if I'm feeling not great, this probably isn't going to be the first thing I want to do, or that even comes to mind. So I apologize now if I, if I miss a couple days. Um, I will keep you updated. You know, if I feel bad, when I feel better, I'll get on let you know what I experienced and what's happening and where I'm at and um yeah tomorrow tomorrow may be the first day but I also need I may have one more day because um my employer was wanting me to um, just kind of come hang out for a day. Just just kind of see their daily routine. Just kind of hang with them. You know, see what an every day is. But be there literally all day. Like, really be there from morning to night to, to really get a good grasp um, of just their inner workings and their home life. And... You know, especially what all I would be doing and responsible for. Um, and she's only off on Sundays. So, Sunday might be a cheat. Don't know. I don't know yet. Um, or she may want to wait a couple weeks. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and there's one other option that we're waiting to hear about. Um but I don't know when I'm going to hear, um, it would be, it would be the only way that I could not have to come off my Suboxone right now and still get this job. And she's trying, like, she's trying. I love her. I can't really say everything I want to say, but, um, she's been great. She's not pushing me. She told me this job would be held for me whenever I was ready it to not rush this just for this job she will need someone for this job for the rest of her kid's life um yes she wants me specific and she will wait on me um she has a backup um until I'm ready um and there's literally no pressure on me from her end from that end from the job's perspective there's zero zero pressure, zero timeline, she's very much, you know, recovery first, recovery first, recovery first, like, you know, um, and we've discussed my fears and my anxiety and, you know, this and that, so she's trying, she's trying, 
God love her heart. She's trying to, you know, come up with maybe different solutions that could kind of dance us around our situation. Um, but I don't know when I'll find out if the other option is an option. So I need to go ahead and try. I need to go ahead and start this process just in case it's a no and this is still going to be the only way to go. Um, yeah. It's a little crazy to sit here and think I may not be on Suboxone on my birthday. My birthday is July 18th. I will be 34 years old. And it's crazy to think that I might not be on Suboxone for my birthday this year. <laughs> like, it's, it's cool. It's exciting. And when I just think of that, it's not scary. It, it's not. When I, when I just think of, like, okay, a month from now on my birthday, I'm going to be chain free. I'm going to be unshackled. Like, oh. Dude, that's cool. I haven't been able to say that. Ooh. Yo, I haven't been able to say that I haven't had anything on my birthday for... Fifteen? It's not funny. Um, and I'm not saying I was always on drugs, but I've always been on either drugs or um, methadone, Suboxone, always something. I've never been able to just be like, yo, I'm 34 today on nothing. Nothing. Like, oh. That thought actually calms me in a way. Um, I don't have anxiety about that. I don't, I don't have... I'm not panicked about that. I'm not scared of that. I'm not stressing about that. It's just a really relaxing, calming thought. Like, on my birthday this year, I could be done. Like that's a powerful statement. Now it's just getting there is the problem. <laughs> getting there is where we have the trouble. I don't know. Mixed feelings. Um. So, yeah, obviously haven't tried anything out of my Ipsy bag yet. You can see I'm still looking just as gross as I was a day ago. Um. So yeah, shower today. I don't know that I'm gonna be leaving today. Um. So, I don't know that I'll put makeup on. If I do, I'll hop on. Don't worry. <laughs> um, if I don't, I don't know when the next time I'll have makeup on. I'm not going to lie. Um, because I don't know what's ahead. I don't know what's coming tomorrow or the next. I don't know. So, I'll try today. Um. I'll shower and stuff, you know, but, um, I don't know if I have to go out today or not. Um, it's a possibility, but it's not guaranteed. So I might put a little makeup on, might not. I don't know if I do, I'll jump on, show you, give you a rundown. Um, if not, yeah, you'll just have to wait. <laughs> no, just, sorry. Um, but you know why it's not just because I'm not wanting to, you know, do it or be on here or talk about it um I just may not be feeling it you know that day so um you know just hang in with me like you guys always have and I love you and appreciate you for it and all of your wonderful comments like you guys it makes me so happy like when I see Michaela and Hannah and you know you guys you know always commenting I, I love it. I learn stuff. I learn about brands I've never tried. I learn just, I just, y'all are awesome. Y'all are awesome. You know, Jeremy, I know he watches. 
um, James, you know, all, all you guys, mom, <laughs> you know, just thank you for the support. Thank you for sticking with me, um, and going along this crazy ride that literally just one morning it popped in my head, like, I'm gonna record myself talking about makeup. And I just random as hell posted to YouTube. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what got into me. But I'm so happy I did it. Like, I'm literally, I'm so happy I did it. It's been extremely therapeutic. It's been helpful. It's been inspiring. It's been learning about me. You know, I don't pre-script any of this. I don't normally even have any idea what I'm gonna say when I come on here um there's only been a couple videos that have kind of been really um kind of thought out um I wouldn't even say thought out so much none of them are thought out um but you know my reviews I obviously I know I'm gonna come on here I know how I feel about a product um, but when it's just like this, you know, it's, it's raw. This is, I literally just turned on the TV, ate my breakfast and picked up my phone and decided to record having no idea what I was going to talk about. Um, other than, you know, my recovery, but I just get on here and chit chat and it's nice, you know, I, I'm not working right now, so I'm not really seeing a lot of people, um, day to day, you know, um, I miss talking to my coworkers, and I just don't have that everyday communication with like friends or, you know, whatever, you know, I'm a homebody, I'm a hermit. Um, so it's just me, mom and Mimi, you know, and yeah, I talk to them, but it's, it's certainly not like I would talk to, you know, a coworker, a friend or whatever. So, you know, it's nice to have this outlet, um, when you are a hermit like myself, um, so yeah, guys, thank you. Seriously, every morning I try to make this video short and it always ends up being 30 minutes. Anyways, uh, yeah, so stay tuned. I will try, okay, I will try to keep you updated. Um, if not on here, um, my Instagram is tnapier6414. You can follow me there. I don't actually post on Instagram a lot, but it seems like if I'm not really in the mood to make a video, Instagram would probably be the place I'd go. Um, I just really hate Facebook nowadays. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, I got on there the first time in like two weeks the other day, and Hannah, Hannah had asked um, if anybody in my area needed a CNA or were hiring. Thank you so much for that. She didn't even tag me. She didn't put my name. Nothing. Like, I just literally happened to scroll past it. And I saw that it was her, so I always stop and read. And you're the best. You're just the best. You're the best. Like, helping a girl out from thousands of miles away. Seriously, top, top few friend moments of my life. That was fantastic. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to get on here as much as I can. Okay. Um, and keep in mind when you upload to YouTube for some reason, it takes hours. Okay. Like this 30 minute video will take like seven hours before it'll be uploaded to YouTube. It's crazy. So just keep in mind, if I do an evening video, it won't be up until like midday the next day. So like, it may seem like I'm skipping a day when sometimes I'm not. Um, but, you know, anyways, I don't have any upload, you know, I don't upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or, you know, Mondays and Saturdays, like most YouTubers, you know, they have, like, a kind of a set schedule, I'm just kind of whenever I want to, um, you know, this isn't really a serious channel, you know, like, you know, it doesn't need to be on a time frame, I have 19 subscribers, which is amazing, but, you know, it's not like 
millions of people are waiting on me to drop a video, you know, like, I'll do it when I want, <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll, I'll hop on, I'll, I'll try to keep up as best I can, um, and I love you guys, love you for the support, and the encouragement, and just inspiration, y'all are just so great, it's just, just so great, literally, like, I love it, love it, I love doing this, I love having all of you in my life, and I could have a birthday next year with, or this year, I could, I could have a birthday in a month, and be clean, y'all though, that seriously sounds, it's just, my finger is so gross, it's not because I'm dirty. It's because I smoke freaking cigarettes. And my friend put this awful polish, this clear polish on my nails. And it's literally sticking like the tobacco, the nicotine. I don't know. It's like sticking to the polish and making it just the grossest. Like, I mean, all cigarette smokers have like that discolored right there, you know. But this fingernail polish is making it way extreme. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and that oil, that um, face oil. Yeah. Um, it says that it's really um, supposed to hydrate. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, I woke up or uh, I put it on yesterday and yesterday evening. I was just a peeling, look, you can still see, I'm a peeling mess. Oh my God, I don't know, I don't know. Like, why is my skin so temperamental? I have normal skin, like, I don't even have problem skin. I have normal ass skin that hates skincare. Like, I swear, I swear to God, it hates all skincare, all skincare, hell, even moisturizer sometimes makes my skin peel, I don't understand, I mean, I've, I've gone back down to simplifying it, I only use my, my cellar water, you know, my, my face oil, dual wash, whatever, or my, um, matcha, hemp, um, stuff from Crave Beauty, whatever, I use either one of those washes, and then just my, either my, the Ordinary, uh, moisturizer, or First Aid Beauty moisturizer, I've literally cut everything else out, no more vitamin C, no more retinol, no more, no more, uh, at, once a week, I use the BHA, um, chemical exfoliant, once a week, that is it, just to get all the crap off my face, because,